Welcome to episode 4 of the Stellaris modding system tutorial series. And today we are going to look at um, using initializers to initialize neighbor systems. So if you've ever played Stellaris and you do the Sol Star, you'll notice that there's always Barnard Star, Alpha Centauri, and Cirrus nearby. This tutorial will show you how to do that. So here we are in our new system initializer folder that we have been working on for the last few episodes. You can see we have new star, new planets, all that. But what I've added is another initializer for another system, I, um, new neighbor initializer one. I have simply thrown together uh, a urinary system with four barren planets, one ideal planet class, and three gas giants. If you remember in the last episode, we used this to make asteroids, but you can also do it to make quick random random systems, which is actually how a lot of the systems in Solaris are made that aren't coded in. So how do we get this to become a neighbor of this? In your initializer, all you have to do is go above the last curly bracket and put in just a little bit of code. Neighbor system which tells the game that we want to spawn a neighbor system. And then you have to use an initializer, and you just use the name of the initializer here. I also made a bit of a mistake. If you want the planet class to um, be your habitable preference, no matter which pre planet preference you choose, it's class ideal design class. So as you can see here, um, we'll launch the Human Coalition Empire that we've been using as a testing bed for this mod. And let's see. Nearby is Roger Star with a continental world. So there are a uh, few conditions for a uh, neighbor system, but the one that we're probably most concerned with is um, the number of habitable colonies. Now this line of code trigger, uh, number of guaranteed colonies is greater than or equal to one. This means that if the number of guaranteed habitable colonies that you selected is greater than or equal to one, it will fire this initializer and spawn Roger's star. However, if it's zero, it will not spawn a star. Distance, this just tells the game how far, how far out it could possibly spawn. And initializer, well, it's the same thing as before. And to show um, this effect in greater detail, I've made a copy of the Roger star system, our new neighbor initializer too, and have replaced the um, guaranteed habitable world with a giant PC baron class. As you can see up here, I made a copy of neighbor system, except now the number of guaranteed colonies equals zero. So here we are in game, and if we hit new game, select, and scroll down. This is the guaranteed habitable world slider that we are referencing in our script. So right now, there are no guaranteed habitable worlds which means that Roger Star has no habitable planets in it. What if we switch over to create, I guess I could just do this. If we set it to one, Roger Star now has a continental world. So yeah, now you know how to initialize neighbor systems.